Hello guys, this is Furbo here. Today I'll be showing you my stack program. <coughs> I'm taking a data structure class and um, right now I'm implementing uh, stacks using Java programming language. I will not be using any uh, library to get stacks. Rather I'll be <coughs> implementing my stack using array and I'll be creating functions from scratch to show you guys how stacks, how you can use, uh, how the stack really works. So first let's uh, see the definition. Stack is a linear data structure which follows a particular order in which operations are performed. The order may be last <coughs> in and first out. So last in, first out. Let's let me show you a picture. For example, uh, we have we have a stack here, and in the stack, uh, you can think of stack as a plate, or uh, stacks of plates. So, uh, when you add a new plate, it's gonna push, and when you have to take take out a plate, plate, it's gonna be pop. So, if you uh, think of that as an uh, example I think that will be easier to uh, memorize so when the stacks I when the stacks is pushed when when you push uh, any value in the stack it stays on the top and when you have to remove it uh, you ha you'll have to pop so that's why it's last in first out when it whichever is the last is the first one to be out so I'll, sh I'll show you a program right now but uh, I want to describe you uh, expression uh, we are going to be using uh, postfix, postfix expression to do our operation in stack so before postfix before I do the operation I would like to show you how what what port postfix expressions are so let's say you have an infix as you can uh, we already know how this works 2 plus 5 times 12 plus 3 in bracket but if you uh, convert it to postfix you have 2 5 plus and 12 3 plus and it's going to be multiplication so when you do this it it's easier for stacks to to operate this um, expression and it, it will be much faster so let's uh, look at stacks I've already uh, built my program here from scratch but first let me show you how my program works I'm gonna run my program uh, let me show you so it's gonna ask how many values would like would you like to enter counting the operators so uh, I have this as an example so one two three four five six seven we have seven and the values are two five plus twelve thirteen so we have seven stacks and we have uh, two please input each value and press enter so we have two five plus twelve uh, thirteen 13 plus and multiplication so that's all the stacks the value that that was entered in the stacks so it, it shows you the operation that has been done and it displays the content in the stack so 175 is the total uh, value and whatever whatever is in the stack and that's correct so let me show you for an uh, example of what the stack has done. We have two has been the, our first value was two, so two was inserted, and after that five was inserted. As in five was inserted, so five is here, and when it sees plus, so it means the operation needs to be done on two and five so 2 plus 5 would be 7 and over here you can see when 
the operator plus was seen it popped pop it five has been deleted and two has been deleted it popped this two element and inserted the new value which was seven so that's that's the process so 12 12 13 has been inserted and it says another plus and it has been deleted and the new value has been added and the last two value are 25 and 7 so 25 and 7 has been deleted and 175 has been inserted so that's the operation that's the operation that that was taken during my uh, presentation and w the qu it asks you would you like to uh, continue if yes enter y if no then just type n it's gonna get you out of the stacks so let's um see what i have done in this my program i have a function this is a class and i'm creating an object a new object from function so wh what is what does my function do this is my function <laughs> I created a new object and with in that object I have lots of uh, functions uh, we have public void this is the initialization of stack negative one means it's that stack is empty um, if it's empty then it's true so it's gonna return a boolean whether it's true or false uh, we have public boolean whether it's full if top if the max top the value that i gave was 10 so if it's um full then it's going to return true so it's not going to allow you to put any more st uh, value in the stacks this is the push uh, i'm using strings si since i need to um put operators such as um, positive negative multiplication that's why I'm using um, string so that you can see the plus and minus and you can do some operations sorry someone was at the door and I have all this operator plus uh, if it's plus it's gonna pop two element from the stacks and it will add this element and it's gonna uh, reconfigure the top which is the array of element and the result will be added to the stack same goes to the negative for minus division we have um, power we have multiplication and this is the exponential and this is unary operator so it, it's only for if there is uh, one value and it adds negative in front and I have pop it's gonna pop the element from the stacks and return return the value in uh, int format integer format and this is my display function which is going to display all the stack inside the function and this is my uh, user interface as of right now for for the user uh, that's pretty much it I'll be working uh, on Q for the next time next time I'll be working on Q and implementing using um, ar array as well Thank you.